Hey Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So let me go ahead and post this really quick onto Facebook so that people can come to this post. And I'm making this video. Hopefully it works with two live streams going on my channel. So we'll see. Let me go ahead and uh, post this. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Share. Copy link. And then let's see. Facebook. Post. Done. And then paste. Sorry, you guys. Let me just get this put on Facebook really quick all right there we go excellent all right Randy Moss has joined us says love Shira Jonathan Myers while wow, Shira is looking very beautiful and powerful yes this is quite the cool Shira figure I think she looks totally amazing and I'm kind of bummed out because I just bought that He-Man figure. And it's like, man, I just bought a Mondo figure. What the heck? Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get this started. Hebrew Innovations. Got to stick my logo in there, right? All right, so there she is. She-Ra, she And she is just phenomenal. You can see she has her... Uh, sword pouch back there she has the gold sword her uh, crest there her necklace her cool armor on the front her red cape just looks so cool um you can dress her different ways she's got this cool headdress here you can use the the gold sword or the silver sword let's see if they show that one in this one nope this is the same i guess the headdress is different in this one this one comes across the face Pretty cool. The knees, though. What's with the little itty bitty knees? I don't. I don't get that. Mondo only pawns in Game of Life. Ahoy, here. Uh, right as she starts tonight. She actually starts tomorrow at noon, and she runs for forty-eight hours. We'll take a look at that website in a few minutes after I go through this and look at all these cool pictures. There's all the parts she comes with. Extra back hair, extra bangs, um, this pink creature, cowl, the owl, whatever he is. Two swords. It looks like the sheath's just made for the for the gold sword, though, not the silver sword. The axe comb. And then, of course, three different headdresses, the shield, and then an extra piece to put around her waist instead of this belt here. So you take the belt off, put that on instead. She is pretty cool. Um, tomorrow is when they're bringing her out and I'm like man tomorrow Urgh. like I said I just just bought the he-man yes Jonathan Myers this toy is a masterpiece it is it is really cool man I really don't want to buy this masterpiece that's so awesome um, but I'm gonna have to She's just so cool. And of course they have some really cool poses for her that their photographers have taken. I mean, look look at her face. I mean, that's just amazing the way they did her. I mean, they got the, the eyeshadow just right. I mean, this would be an awesome 6-inch figure. I wish it was a 6-inch figure instead of a 12-inch figure. It's so cool. Mondo, why? Why do you make us suffer like this? Pop actress says, better than Origins. Oh, yeah. It's better than Origins. Deluxe Orient says, I like the new Beast Man. He has hilarious teeny elbows. That's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Her elbows are almost the same size as her knees. Yep, there is her face again. Phenomenal. Looks like her cape has wires in it you can see it's kind of doing different uh, poses with the cape 
there she is fighting Hordak, his big throne in the back. It's kind of doing the, the, the Neo block with the one hand going up. Shira Origins was cheaply done. Yeah, pop actor. I'm not really super impressed with uh, the Shira Origins, but. Yep. This figure is just really cool looking. And there's Cowl. Yep, you get Cowl. There she's in her bangs. That is so cool. Let's zoom, zoom up on her bangs. Let's take a look at those. Perfect. That is so cool looking. Now, one thing I don't like about a lot of the She-Ra dolls and drawings is they have too much forehead. And this She-Ra, they have done a really good job on not making her so much forehead on her. And uh, e even when uh, um, Eatman drew her in some of the pictures he did for the poster, for the, um, what was it, the duck posters, what they're called, Mad Duck, um, he had way too much forehead on her too, I thought. I actually uh, edited one of the graphic pictures of the forehead because I, I, cause I, I, like, I just don't like a lot of forehead. So this actually gets rid of that issue. I wish I could see what she looks like with her tiara off. Let's see if they have any pictures of her with her tiara off. I don't think, think they do. I think all of them have some sort of tiara. Hopefully she does not have a hole in her forehead like we saw with the classics. Amazing. Again, itty bitty knee, but you know, if you have her boots up, you're not going to see it with the knee pads on. So cool. The bangs are an awesome touch. Eatman, I think it was you that did it. Excellent job. And here's the, the other belt you can see on here. I think I like the V belt better than this one. If this was longer and, you know, came down to about here, I think it'd be cool. But being it's so short, I'm not a huge fan of it, but that's okay. She still looks really cool. Really cool, man. There she looks like some kind of gladiator or something. You can see her in Rome with her red cape going across and her sword right there. And notice the tip of the sword is wider than the middle of the sword. So the sword actually goes wider. And if you take a look at the actual drawing they used to make this, oh, there's her face again. So cool. Even the tiaras are really well designed. So you can see in the drawing right here that the sword actually comes out. So it's wider here at the tip. Kind of like we saw with, uh, oh, what was that movie? Troy, where his sword was actually wider on the tip, which would make it interesting to go into the sheath. I want to, I like to see the back of the sheath to see what it looks like on the other side, if it's just open or if it's totally closed. But what an amazing figure. So this, of course, was the drawings to develop the figure. So cool. Amazing. Where's the Filmation-inspired head? Well, this is not a Filmation figure at all, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, who knows, we're going to release a Filmation one in the future. Just so cool. So let's go ahead and check out the website. And let's see if I have that down here, and I do. So here is the website here. I put the link in the description. For some reason on their main site, it's not on there. It doesn't have it on there. So let's take a look at this. This came out July 11th, this uh, thing, which is pretty short notice considering it comes out tomorrow, tomorrow morning at noon depending on your time zone. Emiliano, excellent. Is that who I said Bill made this? I might have. You know what? I did say the other guy. Wow, Emiliano, excellent. <laughs> I can't believe I said the wrong name earlier. All right. And there's how big she is. And this one has a 48 hour timed edition. So you can buy it starting at noon central time, which will be 10 o'clock, I believe, Pacific time. And uh, limit three per customer. And you get 48 hours. So you can go all the way through the 12th and the 13th at noon. You can go all the way to the 14th at noon, according to this. 
it is expensive 250 that is a very high price ah mondo's killing me killing me i mean first i found out about that scare glow so i had to go buy that scare glow. i didn't have to but i did on the secondary market and when i got that he-man ah I tell you, this guy takes some amazing pictures. Great stuff. Let's take a look at all the things she comes with. So here you can see she has uh, uh, two open hands, or two hands to hold swords, two slapping hands, two fists, her shield, her tiaras, her hair, her cowl, um, the sword, the other sword. Mmm. And it's funny, when I first saw them making this figure, I'm like, okay, I, I got to get that figure when it comes out. And so that's why now with this, this short notice, it's like, man, man, I, I, I just, just don't know. Anyway, let's see what you guys are saying. For me in Montreal, Quebec, it's murder. Oh, yeah, the shipping, of course, and, the do, and the, all the dues you got to pay to get it across. That dragon walker follows Todd wherever he goes. <laughs> Mondo figures are always expensive, but really cool. Yeah, they are. Still recovering from the dragon walker, laughing out loud. Nice, I have a vintage one. Never saw the Origins one for sale anywhere. Yeah, the Origins one is crazy. Burned out comedy. Deluxorian got uh, Manny Faces for $20 today. Oh, coming at the pool got the Manny Faces for $20 today. Nice. Nice. Is that vac metal gold or paint? Um, it, it looks like paint. It doesn't look chrome to me. So I'm guessing it's just painted on there. But they do look very shiny. Shiny. All right, let's go back to my zoomed up pictures. There we go. So cool. Well, looks like I need to hurry and finish those floors for Castle Grayskull so I can sell them so I can make some money to uh, pay my credit card off after buying this figure tomorrow. Oh. And it's funny, I told myself, He-Man's the only Mondo I'm going to get. Well, and, and Scareglow, because I want a cool Scareglow. And uh, so now I have two Scareglows. I have the, the He-Man that I turned into a Titus. I got the other He-Man on pre-order. Now I'm going to have her that will be it. That will be the end. Of, if they come out with Skeletor, I'm not getting them. I am not. If you guys see me in a video telling you about a Skeletor coming out, you need to tell me. Remember, Todd? Remember, you said you were not, not, not going to get Skeletor and, and talk me off the ledge. Okay, so I want to know from you guys. How many of you guys are thinking about getting this figure? Is it a is it a must have? Is it a that's kind of cool? I'd like to have it. Or eh, it's 12 inch. It doesn't match any of my stuff anyway. I can let it go. Let's see. Games is saying I kind of want to get it for the parts and use uh, um, what is that? Uh, Feesin? Is that how you spell it? Um, body instead. Now I have seen those where the, the dolls don't have any joints. Um, I think you will be unhappy because I am guessing just like we saw with um, Scare Glow in my video that these leg pieces are not going to come off and go on that other doll. And so you're going to have to actually, they separate at the knees right here, and this whole piece comes off as one big piece. So you won't be able to put the boots on her. 
And I'm guessing the dress won't come off very easily either. I'm not sure. So, and who knows about the forearms? The forearms might be a solid piece too. It may not be a removable piece. So all you'd have is the tiaras, the head, and the, and the weapons. I don't think you can get the forearms and the, and the shins off of this figure to put on a, a, a different figure. Which stinks is that one that Mattel sold, that 12 inch one we saw before, you could take all of them off as it was actually a costume on like a Barbie doll looking thing. Is Omega Construct Snake Mountain still for sale? Yes, I saw it today, it is. <laughs> Pop actor, I'm thinking of buying that battle bone. Oh, Mike, Fee. I'm sorry to hear about your business, man. Does Dragon Walker get you coffee? Yes. <laughs> and tea, too. Yeah, Delaxorian, you are correct. It has been a circus the way Mattel's handled getting the Origins figures out to people. Jeff, you know, if they would have dropped um, uh, Cowl, I'd have been happy with that if they threw in an extra head. Sure, why not? I'm not a fan of Cowl anyway. And the funny thing is, is Cowl in this um, looks like the filmation cowl of course they did have a toy cowl too but that's that's definitely the filmation one because he's pink where the toy was kind of an off yellow so it's funny they have a filmation cowl but not a filmation shira so you are right i guess they could have tossed in a, a filmation shira um headdress and head So, the chance to get this is tomorrow at noon, all the way till the 14th at noon. Don't wait that long. I love how Coldar was shipped, sold first, but Wondar is already being shipped. I know, isn't that crazy? Yes, Jeff, you are right. So, being they kind of mix stuff already, of course, this sword is very filmation y too. So, I guess we got a filmation sword as well. So yeah, they could have tossed a filmation head in there. You're right. Why not? But they'll probably do a whole separate filmation release someday. Just to really stick it to us. Four hundred and fifty dollars for a filmation release. Anyway, she is very cool. I can't believe I'm gonna break down and get another Mondo figure. Pop actor says no email on his end for the for the um I just can't believe this. Unbelievable. One day notice. You know what? Just for kicks, let's see if they posted it on their main site yet. I'm just curious to see if they have posted it. So let's go to Mondo. On sale now. It was funny, every time I searched for it, it would show up for a second and then vanish. Okay. Search. She ra. Oh, it's showing up now. Cool. Yeah, it's funny if you actually hit the search though, it won't show up. That's funny. That's what I was doing wrong. I was actually hitting the word search. And now it's not coming up again. Let's go back. Let's go to search. She. Raw. So, don't hit the search button. Just type it in. You'll get the post. Then it will show up. 
then you can see it. Appearing for the first time in the 1984 mini-comic, the story of She-Ra soon became a national pop culture icon and a positive symbol for female representation in cartoons, toys, and comics. Being such a larger-than-life character, we here at Mondo knew the responsibility we had to represent her in all of her awesome glory and having her be the first female character in our one-sixth Moto line seemed like the most fitting character um, of her stature. Now, I find it interesting that they said uh, She-Ra uh, soon becoming a national pop culture icon and a positive symbol for female representation in cartoons, toys, and comics. Because before She-Ra, we had Wonder Woman, and she fit the bill as well. So... I I just don't like it when people uh, forget other properties. Now, for Masters of the Universe, yeah, she was the first. But for uh, out in the in the in the nerdverse, she was not the first. We've had lots of female characters. We've had uh, Batgirl and Wonder Woman and Isis and all kinds of other ones. All right. Let's see. Weird Fantastic Toys says, I'm not buying this. I ain't buying this, man. No way. Yeah, these are just to be admired from afar for me. Yeah, Cobweb, it's crazy how much. Mattel Creations should know that I have dual citizenship. Nice. I can't. Oh, yeah, Black Phoenix 77. You think it's only, only going to go for 800? Come on. It's going to go for at least 1,000. Okay, it's, it's, it's time to check. Well, before we do, before we do, let's go to toys. And let's go to, uh, let's see, properties. Masters of the Universe. And let's find our deluxe He-Man. So let's stick this here. Copy that text. And let's go to Evil Bay. Let's shorten this up to Mondo Exclusive. And let's see what people are... Oh, 600. Hey, I was wrong. What is this? Huh, that's funny. This faker is going for only 200 bucks. Oh, it's because it's, it's bids. All right, let's go to... Uh, Price shipping highest first. Okay, but color me wrong. Seven hundred. Of course, being a she run, she's the first female. Crazy, crazy. You know, I was thinking she was a lot less because uh, she was a female and her shoes less plastic, but he was only 250 with all the parts. Let's take a look and see again how much she was. Yeah, same price. Wow. Uh, there we go. Search up Origins Wondar. Okay, let's let's do a search for Wondar. Wondar. Two R's. 
Let's take a look and see. Okay. I guess it has one R. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Exclusive in hand. This guy took a picture of his actual one dar. Dun dun dun. Three available. It's a time exclusive. What? That's why they're 250. Thanks, Lewis, for the info. Yes, $80 for a $15 figure. You know what? You know what? You know what? Okay. Let's find the highest person that has it on here. Here we go. This now this one here is a classic so I'm not going to do it, but this is this is ours right here. And uh we'll make an offer. I have to log in. Not gonna log in here actually on a live feed, but after my live feed's over, I'm gonna make an offer for 20 bucks and see what the guy says. Hey, I'll give you 20 bucks, you get five bucks extra for your figure, and I'll let you guys know what the person writes back. So it'd be kind of funny to see what he says back. Also, I'll make make something. I'll make something up. Like twenty dollars is a good deal for a fifteen dollar figure, man. You're making a five dollar profit. That's a twenty five percent market. Yeah, I don't want to offer this $5. I want to, you know, $5 over the price. Because, you know, he paid he paid 15 so maybe even 17 Me, You know what? I'll offer him $25. 25 you know, that's that's a significant amount of a uh, offer, too. <laughs> Ginger Hill says, I will pass on her. Yes, Mike, I will show you. 17 cents. Now I want to at least make it so it's higher than the price he paid, just to see what he'll say back. Because technically he's still making a profit, and we will see uh, if he's like, you know what? I doubt it though. Yes, it's crazy for free. Hey, can you sell me your figure for free? I'll pay the eight dollar shipping. What? One guy was selling 4,000 before creations. Now I could see if that was, you know, the, um, the, the real one, maybe, that's still in the package it came shipped in to your house. Ah, so cool. Yep, this puts the Masterverse one that I was so excited about to shame. Except for the knees. Of course, the Masterverse has the weird double jointed elbows, but if this was six inches or seven and a, seven inches or whatever size that's supposed to be to fit classics, oh man, that would be so cool. See, that's why I need the Honey I Shrunk the Kids machine. Just stick it in there, just do a little bit of shrink on it. Hey, Jinx Caliber, it's fine that you're late. We're just checking out the new She-Ra that's coming out tomorrow at noon for 48 hours. And they didn't do a very good job talking about it because they just released this today telling us. And at first you couldn't even find it on their site. Someone on Facebook posted it and I had to search Google for it to find it. Ah. Offer 28. Okay. Okay, CT Jason. I will offer him 28 because he had to pay for shipping too. How's the floor looking? Well, I guess I could pull up the video 
let's see. Let's take a look. If you're a Washington homeowner, no. 2022 is your last no, I got some to go stinky solar. ad. In December of 20 There it is. You can actually go watch it live right now if you want to. In fact, Jinx Caliber was or um, Jinx Jinx Caliber was just there. So yeah, this is the live feed of it right now. Dun dun dun. It's taking the I think it's gonna take a little longer than expected. But it's coming out really cool. I can't wait till it's done. And Jinx Caliber, this will be yours. This this is the one I'll mail you right here once it's done. Don't worry, I'm I'm gonna paint it first before I mail it and make it all pretty. And then I'll I'll mail it out to you. The, my get boxes on Friday. So so Jinx Caliber on Friday. Um I'll be getting my boxes and then probably mailing this out to you Saturday morning. So you'll get the first one off the run, man. The very first one. So cool. All right. Let's take one more look. Oh, so cool. So cool. Hi, this is Saul Goodman. Uh. They do an amazing paint job on these figures. Okay, you guys, that is it. Time for me to play my outgoing Darth Vader. Yes, Unicron, that is an amazing, gorgeous figure. Really cool. Mike, I will show the painting of the floor in a video later. Green slime pit, he man. All right, here we go. Here's Darth Vader. If you found enjoyment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Oh. Do it. If you found enjoyment. What? Bye, you guys.